Welcome back to Intimals, everyone. So after yesterday's cool down into close, we did gap up today. And our question is, where are we going to hold this strength on the day? As you guys can see, we were consistently climbing higher throughout the day until we had a major pullback again on Poland News Media reporting that there was two missiles coming from Russia, which is again NATO territory. So therefore, it shows us that we could have had possible World War III talks. We again, this is all speculation on exactly what NATO would respond like and exactly what Poland would expect to respond like. And also Russia did mention that they had no intention of that and that somebody's of course will deny anything that they may have done however the question is how two missiles got there if that was intentional what will pull and respond like to have an emergency meeting today and then nato will respond again the pentagon today having nothing to want to have to do with this at all so hoping that this isn't true of course in my opinion the u.s very much doesn't want any escalation and so they very much are not going to give any confirmation on this they also don't have any information they said so again we'll see if this does confirm if poland wants any type of specific response i'm sure Again, there's no confirmation on this, but again, I'm sure that our president is at least talking to Poland at this point and trying to figure out exactly what our response should be. As you guys can see in after hours, we are just having a slight pullback in fear that we could possibly have a major pullback. However, if this is not confirmed as a threat and NATO doesn't have any major response, for example, any major escalation on possible sanctions or gas cutoffs that Russia may do towards Europe or even any possible World War III talks. Again, there's going to be a lot of people talking about this. However, again, if this is not confirmed, what will happen is we will be in possible squeeze territory again to reach the possible upper end of our channel here that we have been talking about. I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Now, before I jump into this, but you guys can do me a huge favor. Smash that like button if you find this video useful at all. Hit subscribe if you want to see my daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the market every single day. We go over candle structure, overall strength levels, and any key indicators that we need to be focused on. And again, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables, or again, we mention any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break alert today again. So jumping into the S&P 500, you guys, again, jumping into the monthly chart just before we jump into the daily chart, as you guys can see, overall, we have been getting a lot of pressure to the upside. We do have a large wick to the downside, respecting our 50 monthly moving average here, looking to see if we continue to respect it to possibly jump above our channel here again on the daily chart and also on the monthly chart, looking to see if we continue on above this channel. Again, we have a second white shaded line that is coming in this month at this point in time. Again, if there's any major escalation, for example, again, like if Russia really did mean to attack Poland and we do have an escalation, of course, this this white shaded sell pressure point here will turn into a possible increase in sell pressure and continue on lower like we had here. However, if we do not get an escalation, then we will continue on with that decrease in sell pressure. Again, rejecting our 50 monthly moving average here, looking to see if we continue on with that strength. Now, again, keeping in mind as we have been gapping up here on our daily chart, again, with our candle structure overall, we are on a gap up again from our pullback that we had from yesterday. And now looking to see if we do continue on and hold above 400 going into tomorrow. That's what we're looking for to see if we can continue on higher. But again, we have closed at the lower end of our body here. So again, we're looking to see if we continue on above the upper end of our body. Again, this is here at 400. So looking for that possible intraday bullish candle setup above 400 to see if we continue on into newer highs above 402. However, if we do get a pullback, looking to see if we do continue on below 395. Again, leading into Thursday's jobs report, that very much could be that move that we're looking for. But again, keep it in mind that we have Poland speaking today. We will see exactly how they respond if they take any type of threat towards it. So far, they have taken some type of threat towards it. It seems like they definitely have an emergency meeting for a reason, um, but we'll see exactly how the response is after, I'm sure, NATO and Multiple countries don't want any escalation after a lot of people seem to be going through a lot already. So looking at our overall buy pressure here on the daily chart, we have been increasing in buy pressure again, continuing with that clean breakout with our aiming lines pointing up again here at about 408, 410 is our range here that we did get our rejection to the upside from prior. As you guys can see, gapping down on that possible anticipation leading into CPI prior, looking to see if we do continue on above that point and get that bullish candle structure above our channel here. If we're going to continue on higher, we still could have a possible false break if we do break above our channel here. And again, looking for that bullish candle setup is going to be very key. Now, as far as room to run to the upside, again, looking at our RSI, as you guys can see, we are pointing up, looking to see if we continue on into higher highs from, again, two days ago, looking to see if we continue on above that strength to see if we do 
have that room to run the upside for jumping into overbought territory, which again has a lot to do with exactly why I would expect us to hit the upper end of our channel if, again, we did not get any major news from this Russia and Poland news. And so again, keeping this news in mind, again, we mentioned any news that is worth looking at throughout the day. We'll keep us updated, of course, in the instables room on any major updates. Um, I hope you guys did have a blessed day today. Very nice breakouts today, even though we had a crazy day with Russia and Poland. We still had a lot of nice breakouts this morning. And again, pre-market, a nice breakout that we had on earnings. Again, similar to TBLT yesterday with QH just taking with the market gives us guys. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts, we mention them every single day in the Instables room. Any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day, any news that needs to be mentioned, again, like we had today with Russia and Poland, we mentioned extremely early before the major sell-off continued and just making sure that we stay ahead of everything is exactly what we try to do in the Instables room every single day. Only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again. And again, all of you Instables, again, just staying blessed, taking what the market gives us, and we will continue to go at it and let the plays come to us. If we continue on lower at some point, then we will let the discounts come to us. If we continue on above our channel, then we will be confirmed. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in pre-market.